<laughs> uh, no, about the material. Let's don't leave that. Uh, no, that's, that's, that's good. Because uh, the most enjoyable times I've ever spent listening to folk music anyway, sometimes it's blue. Uh, and by blue, I don't mean sad. I mean, uh, sometimes it's racy. Enjoy sometimes content it's, and so forth. It's real. The, it's risky. Well, that isn't really the problem, because there are an awful lot of songs that are uh, more, not so much by uh, any racy connotation, but more mm -hmm. because of, uh, say, uh, pseudo-political blocks. The pressure groups bother you much. Oh, that's oh, what it is. Yeah. You see, it's like a simple, oh, yeah. simple as it is. The, the uh, sponsor seems to be the man who decides. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the sponsor might be a uh, yuck. And that's yeah. entirely, entirely possible. <laughs> and usually, it seems, you know, according to the, the progress that's been made in, in what they have approved. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to color what I just got through saying. I don't want to horrify anybody, but... Uh, I, I was going to be an, an illustrator, you know, and you have the same problem there. You, you go to school for, you know, how many years, and it takes you a lifetime to, to, to learn your art. And then the, the person that you're trying to sell this thing to for a magazine is a guy who, you know, and he's paying $35,000 for one page in Saturday Evening Post. And he's paying for a color illustration. He wants it red, you know. I'm paying for color, buddy. I mean, get it in there. You know? <laughs> and so as a result, well, you, you, you don't get a chance to employ the things that you have learned. Uh, the mm -hmm. things that separate you, say, from a mediocre artist that may maybe make you a good one, mm -hmm. uh, they don't take your word for that, you see, and you end up painting somebody else's bad taste, you know, and that's kind of a drag. The things yeah. that we have learned to depend on, uh, regardless of the situation, whether it's playing on somebody's front porch, or whether it's playing a concert, or whether it's playing <laughs> on television, or a speeding boxcar, or <laughs> anywhere, is... It's material that proves itself, you know, and we have faith in it, but the people who, uh, who generally approve or disapprove material uh, don't have that faith in the music. Should it's unfortunate. Do yeah. really they really take it over the lyrics? I mean, oh, certainly. certainly. Well, I was telling you earlier, we're going to do this, uh, one, of, one of the biggest numbers that we do, we'll be doing it later on, is a, is a, is a Mexican song called La Ramba, and it's a gang fight, you know, mm -hmm. it's a big tune. Yeah. <laughs> and so they asked us, what, what is the biggest tune that you have in terms of audience response? And we told them La Ramba, and they said, well, could we hear it? So we said, sure. And we played it, and they said, "Yeah, that's uh, that's cute." Uh -huh. And they said, uh, "Could you could you sing it in English?" You know, <laughs> no, you know, but that's, that's uh -huh. where it's at. It's weird. Well, I'll be doggone. Uh, uh, are you sure that's not a communist song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 